Guess who's back? Yes, you guessed it right. I am back with the band. Yo, it's been a cool two weeks I've been away, man, and uh, I've had a very nice session. I've enjoyed watching guys coming over here and doing the Instagram takeover. I have totally enjoyed. I've, two weeks without talking about Shida's Arsenal. Ah, ah, good timing. And also in those two weeks, Mazi, is when you have had the whole issues of Arsenal getting beat. So, yeah, hapo niliponyoka. Niliona watu walikuwa na niuliza sana. Tukua ni YouTube. Tuataka kuona machozi yako. So people are quite happy when they see me lamenting about my problems, huh? Especially Arsenal. Nah, poleni sana. So I was away for two weeks. I was doing a lot of uh, traveling. So I thought, you know what? E Fortnite might be a good session to actually bring on board another, uh, some other guys to come and take over and do something different from what I do. All right? Basically, we're talking Digest Daily and uh, the Matrix Live Digest on IG. So we had Musa doing uh, the Digest Daily. Big up yourself, bro. You did a very good job. Big up. Uh, we also had likes of uh, John Ribia doing the Matrix Digest. We had uh, Samu Amai of the Locker Room. Uh, we also had um, Chunky Love coming through as one of the guests. So yeah, Samu Amai also did by their Digest Daily. So all of you guys, I'm very grateful. Mulini idea sana. Sana. Alright, if you checked out my personal account, Uliona nilikuwa tu natembea tembea na uko sotig mbali mbali mbali. So I didn't want to bug myself with uh, having to create content and you go on the road. Nah, nah. Wouldn't have been conducive for me. Alright, so I'm back. And I'm back for Matrix 24, yeah? That was Matrix 23. If I'm not wrong, no, 24. And uh, it was a very good one for me as an Arsenal fan. Uh, my team kicked off with a bang. After two L's back to back, we had to do something and we did it in style. Mm-hmm. Aubameyang. Hattrick, El Capitan, he is back, man. You know what I love about his goals? Not just the fact that he scored a hat-trick, it's how he did score it. First, ile kutoka, kutoka, kuchenga right back, alafu unayeka near post. That, that's something he has done a lot of times, but I don't know how the Leeds players didn't see that one coming. Uh, the second one was a pen, and the third one was a header. As in, ilikuwa almost a perfect hat-trick. It's a perfect hat-trick, actually. And he almost got himself into four goals, only that I could but it is what it is, man. A fantastic win, 4-2. And, of course, we were 3-0 up by halftime, which I feel like is how we should have done against Wolves. Give me a Wolves, nakumbuka sana ni Leonea plays, and it was so thick. Yeah? And that game, we were brilliant, but we didn't kill it off in the first half. That is not what we did yesterday. Jana, to kill off your game. Hey, to kwa tunacheza. One of the best uh, first half performances I've seen. And even the scoreline was saying all about that. So I'm, I'm totally excited as an Arsenal fan. Uh, Aubameyang, like I said, he's back. I honestly feel like truly now he's back. Ile sina shaka. Wajua zingine yalikuwa naona anafanya vitu fani uko like, okay. Sasa, wawu ya merudi. Uyu, he is back, man. I was just excited to see Udegaard making his debut. Yeah, he didn't do much, but it, I didn't see anything wrong that he did. So I was excited to see him. And it was even more interesting to see him in the lineup of him being the middle, uh, having flanks, uh, having uh, Saka and Smith Rowe on the flanks. That was that was interesting to watch. That was interesting to watch by Ateta. So, and of course, somewhere along the way, in the second half, Leeds, of course, they were still coming at us. And they scored the 4-1 bullet head of that one by the strike, uh, strike, strike, whatever the name is. Who was coming in actually for Calvin Phillips and he's a centre-back. So you could feel like efficiency uh, Leeds in the midfield was not as good as it always is. So... Yeah, but Sisi Kama Arsenal, we don't give a shit. No one cares that Calvin Phillips was not there. Um, and then the 4 2 1. Hey, while Ifunga 4 2, they were like, whoa, what the hell is going on here? This can't be another Newcastle thing, can it? Because there are some haters who will be like, oh, Newcastle 4 4 is back. We are going down. No, it's not, it was not going to happen. And then there was this uh, foul that was done on Bamford. I'm like, god damn, Refari, Akipeana, Pen, Apa. Equal 4 3 situation. He didn't give a pen, so it's all good. Um, so Magic 24 started off on Saturday. Ali Kiko Filikwa, Leicester versus Liverpool. Um, a very interesting game, by the way, which I thought Liverpool dominated the first half. Even the second half, they were even better than the first half. Leicester were Lijaribu first half. Second half, not so much. Especially the first the first 20 minutes of the second half. Yeah, Leicester were Likwa nowhere to be seen, but until Liverpool scored, fantastic goal by the Mosala and that assist by Firmino. Eh, 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 you assisted Likwa Kali. Ilikuakali. And then, boom, out of nowhere, 1-1. One, one. You can't hear Ilikuwa Bawaya Kwanza ya nini? Haule ya nani? Haule ya nani ya ikuwa hiyo. Then, so it's 1-1. One, one. Leicester City got themselves back in the last 15 minutes. And from then on, it was all about Leicester City. Naitu Aji Ubo, Yuri Telemans akawekia long ball. I think it was meant for Harvey Barnes. Uh, Alison Akamua. Oh my God, I'm going to get this. And, and when he went out, I was feeling like, Umse Hamini Kabaka. 
I mean, Kabak. That's his name, right? Kabak. Um, say, I'm a new defender. That's why he's gone now. If it was Henderson, leave alone Van Dyke. If it was Henderson who was going to get the ball, I think Alison Hange Toka. But Sasa ni Kabaka. I mean, you a boy. So, akamua kutoka. Even me, I don't trust that guy. I will come back. I will come back. Ata ni Leona alitoka Schalke. Zui Schalke wakona goal difference ya minus. What? So, Liverpool waliangalia. Wakaona huyu ndia defender. Atakuja kuwasaidia. Ah, please. I'm not buying that Kabak shit. So, Alison wana katoka. Kufanya haula kama yeye. Clat na ni ya kaklamp down on his defender. And then, Vardy had the whole goal to do as he wishes. And bang, he put it in the back of the net. And then, uh, oh, the equalizer was the Madison free kick. And then, kutoka hapo, ika kuwani all about Leicester. And then, Harvey Burns uh, did drilling the last nail in Liverpool's coffin. And I've seen now in their last 10 games, Mandem have lost, is it five games? I think five games, one, two, drawn three. Crazy shit. These guys, by the way, uh, at a club, alisha sema, ligi mesha songa. So, they are relinquishing the, the Premier League title. Speaking of uh, Premier League title... The one team that is clearly going for this one, and I don't think there's anyone who can stop them right now. They are totally unplayable, unstoppable. Yeah? Nilicheki loka numa kisema, this is the one reggae you cannot stop. Ahi reggae, ahi reggae, man city. Ahi, I wezi sima miksha, I wezi sima mishwa. You cannot stop this one. They were brilliant against Tottenham. Yo, they were, they were good. Like, seriously good. Seriously good. Mourinho had nothing on Pep that day. So they won that game. Was it 3-0? Yeah, they won that game 3 0, if I'm not wrong. Gundogan with a brace, and he won the pen. Ah, was it you have any pair points for FPL? Ah! Nime fry, sana, nime fry. 38 points as my captain. So uh, I'm super excited, of course. Uh, which other game did you have on Saturday that was worth the salt? Not much. There was a Crystal Palace issue versus Burnley. Burnley now, but they were my panda slowly but surely. They are now, I think, on 16th. Uh, similar points, similar number of points with Crystal Palace, and they have a game in hand. Crystal Palace bila zaha ni shit. Ah, I see how you do chochote. Kaza you go kwa yoku rau. Ah, ani West Brom, uh, West Bromwich ingine. Speaking of West Bromwich, they were playing yesterday against Manchester United at uh, the Hawthorns. I think that's what their ground is called. And I was like, ah, ineli kwa na juu iya imani watawa. West Brom ame kwa chini bana. Kila this is whipping boys wa ligi. Akuna mtu apigi ama boy. You know, if Arsenal can beat West Brom 4 0 at their own ground, Sembusi and Manchester United when you are cause you number two uko, na situ kwa uko chini. Yeah? Eh, well, well, within the first two minutes, boom, one nil down to Manchester United. Of course, they did try to get themselves back in the second, in the first half, which they did, and they got an equalizer by the. Yo bawa ya Bruno ilikuwa kali. Uh, it was a good volley on his weaker foot. But that's all Man United could conjure, or conjure that day, or that night. And then second half, Joe, hey, second half. Hey. But Man United, by the way, Liponea. Jana. Ah, Jana, Man United, no kuliwa bana. Two instances that were saved by De Gea, which I felt like was brilliant. And uh, especially Ile Moj, Ajay. Ajay is doing nini. Ajay is one on one. One on one at De Gea, and he cannot beat the fellow. Ah. Alini Bo, bana. Alini Bo. There was also another pass Michael Niles was supposed to make across the field. And then Akapiga was Mbovu, bana. Honestly, if, if West Bromwich were more clinical, I think yesterday they would have, have won Kitu like 3-1 EV, honestly. But then, it is what it is. So, it didn't help them much because they are deep in the relegation shit. And also, it didn't help Manchester United much because they are trying to go at the top. And now they cannot. They are 46 points now, level with Leicester City, who are actually went second after beating uh, Liverpool. And they are now 7 points away from uh, Manchester City, if I'm not wrong. So, Manchester City were 7 points away with one game in hand. Uh... Na Man United that ndio watawakimbiza. Man United wenye tuliona jana hawezi. 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 Of course also Harry Maguire missed a header, a close one by the way, saved by the fingertips of goalkeeper by the way. Yeah, that, that would have been brilliant. Yeah, so game ya jana ilikuwa kind of interesting and and yeah, Man United still could not win against West Brom which and you feel for them those are two crucial points dropped. Hizo hizo watalilia. Watalilia kwa choji hizo. They will pay for that. Then the last game yesterday we had uh, Everton taking on Fulham. We had, I was not planning on watching this game, but you know the first 20 minutes were like, hey, Fulham won a chance, man. The energy levels, they are, they are always on, on uh, they, were, they were so aggressive. They were always on uh, Everton's players' faces, never giving them a space to breathe. They were moving the ball better than Everton. I'm like, it was quite interesting. It was super interesting. And then they scored. And I'm like, 
Okay, so maybe I'm expecting some response here from, uh, what do you call this guy? From Ancelotti's boys, right? Eh, hakuna. Fula mbado wana wakujia, tu wana wakujia. Fula mwalikujia Everton the whole 90 minutes. And they won the game 2 nil. Deservedly. Ile, hakuna shaka, yani, there is no doubt as to whether they deserve to win that game. Absolutely no doubt. So, yeah, match week 23 has been interesting. Two more games to go. We have West Ham taking on Sheffield United today. Then we have also, uh, that will be at 9 o'clock. Then we have Chelsea. Thomas Tuchel will be back trying to get another W. And they will be playing against Newcastle United. It's going to be a dope match. That one, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, it's going to be crazy for sure. Let me see if there is anything I've forgotten, yeah? Uh, Gundogan, yes. Gundogan now has 11 goals in total. He has scored 9 in 10. Nani asia mahali. The last time he had such number of goals, he took you know how many games? You can 30 something games to get such a, a goal tally. It's crazy. Uh, Liverpool, yeah, they were beaten by Leicester City. <laughs> by the time Match 24 is over, they might be sixth, you know. Because they are that two, they, are, they have how many points? 31. I think they have 31. No, they have 40 points. Chelsea and West Ham United have 39. So if West Ham wins United today against Sheffield, of which most likely they will, they'll go there with 42 points. Liverpool will drop at the fifth. If Chelsea wins their game against Newcastle United, which is not guaranteed, by the way, boom, Liverpool on a shuka ten, a hardy number sitter. So by the time they play next game week, they will be sixth. And guess who they are playing in match week 25? Ah, you can't make this shit up, man. You can't. Everton. It's going to be a massive side derby. Ah, you ita kwa kali, ah, ita kwa kukata na shoka. Uh, Liverpool's defense, by the way, it's so, uh, what do you call it? It's so weak right now, honestly. I feel like the defense is super weak. Super weak. What Germany talk about? Me missing one mini. I need to take Shangwe at all. Um, anything else that I've forgotten mentioning? Mentioning. Bamiyang is back. Um, yeah. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Oh, there was Syria action going on this weekend, which was actually interesting because AC Milan lost against Spezia. Spezia has just get. I think that's the first time those two teams are meeting in Syria. Similar, uh, AC Milan took a 2 0 L, and out of that, they dropped second because the next game was Inter Milan versus Lazio, and Inter Milan wali chesa kama wow. They won 3 1, look up with the brace, and they are now top of the Syria standings with one single point. So, yeah, pale, Syria kanashika roundi, Juventus wako number ne, I think, kama ni number tano. I think they are fifth. So if they win their next game, because they have a game in hand, of course, they'll go all the way to number three in the Premier League, in the Serie A standings, all right? So that's all there is to digest today. Um, yeah, and uh, that's up. So what would you say was your highlight of Match of 24? For me, obviously, is Aubameyang scoring a hat-trick. His first ever in the Premier League. That was huge. For me, that was huge. And I was excited to see that. Mazze scoring a header, pen, talk our say, ah, near post. Ah, near post by the way. Hey, Pia Bellerin. Ah. That goal by Bellerin. Fantastic. Maybe you should not sell him. I once said maybe you should sell him. I'm thinking twice about that now. <laughs> I am. I am. So definitely my highlight is uh, Aubameyang, Aubameyang scoring a hat-trick. I would love to know what your, what your highlight of the match with 24. Takai Jaisha. Tell us on the comment section. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a fantastic week. God bless. Take care. Mask up and sanitize.